Right now, there are nearly 100 people waiting to die on Georgia's death row. Most of them have been fighting for their lives for years, filing appeal after appeal. But those who should know tell me this will be the year. The death house population will be thinned out. Going to the electric chair that may soon be used is an eerie experience. You take the elevator to the fifth floor of the main building at Reedsville. You see the holding cells where a condemned prisoner must go for the last 72 hours of his life. It's not wired up now and doesn't look like much of an electric chair, but it is usable. And the warden here tells me it could be activated within days. Behind the chair, a screen, and in stark contrast to the white chair and white walls, there are electrical wires and gears and three black handles. Three men stand there and simultaneously pull those handles down, never knowing which of them actually sent the charge to the man strapped in the chair. I've received a lot of letters from people volunteering to fill that position uh, from all over the country. I think if we use a staff member, it'll, it'll be a, an emotional situation for that person, but we've had staff to also volunteer for the, for the job, so I, don't, I think we will have adequate people to carry it out. Just to the left of the chair, the marble table, where hundreds of electrocuted bodies have cooled down, and cold storage vaults where they are placed until somebody claims the body, or until it can be removed from the prison. After the execution, the names of the dead are put into the death book. All of the people in this book were electrocuted here. The last electrocution took place 101664. Bernard Dye was killed for the crime of murder. He died at 1116 AM. And the first to be executed was Howard Henson of DeKalb County. That was back in 1924. There are those who will say the death penalty is not a deterrent to violent crime. But those who have studied the history of violence say it is a deterrent if it is actually used. It has to be quick, and it has to be related to the crime. Somehow or other, the public, and particularly those who are predisposed to carry out violence against others, must understand that if they do this crime, if they are convicted of this crime, then the death penalty will be enacted within a very short but reasonable time according to the law of the state of Georgia. On Georgia's death row, there are people who have gone through 11 appeals in state courts and have many more years to go through federal courts. It costs taxpayers $15,000 per inmate per year to keep them on death row. And more than that, if they are represented by public defenders, and many of them are. Tonight at 11, I'll tell you more about Georgia's electric chair. This is Wes Sargentson. Georgia has two death rows, one at Jackson, the other at Reedsville. There are nearly 100 inmates on Georgia's death row waiting to die, including two women. There would be more, but in the early 70s, all of Georgia's death sentences were commuted. So all of the inmates with death sentences now have been waiting a maximum of seven years. On the fifth floor of the main building at Reedsville, there's a place that could be called the death complex. There's the telephone that would be hooked directly to the governor's office. There are five holding cells where the condemned spend their last 72 hours. There's a place called the Last Mile, where a man walks with his priest or clergyman, if he so desires, just before being electrocuted. I wondered what a priest might say to a man just before he goes to the chair. The Gospels tell us that Jesus canonized only one man while he was on this earth, and it was the man on, crucified on his right. He was a convicted felon, and all he said was, Lord, remember me and Jesus said this day you will be with me in paradise the execution chamber is a deceptive place white walls white ceiling white chair antiseptically pure. The condemned are strapped in so that their feet are touching a metal floor plate, and a metal pot with wires attached to it would be on their heads. Their body is the connector. After the execution, the body would be cooled on this marble table and placed in a storage vault until it could be removed from the prison. The death penalty will always be controversial, but the majority of Georgians favor it. Well, people on the street want to see swift and severe action to people that are committing crimes and uh, 
uh, killing people like we have in Atlanta, and I think we certainly support that, and the people in the state of Georgia support it. Tomorrow at 6, I'll introduce you to one of the two women on Georgia's death row, Rebecca Machete-Smith. This is Wes Sargentson.